Okay, here's a more straightforward problem. Um, two icosahedral, oh, I'm surprised I didn't have the, I know you have the picture on your uh, notes. Two icosahedral 20-sided dice are rolled. I mean, you don't really need to have the picture, you just need to know the sample space is one, two, three, four. It's got every number up to, up to 20 on the 20-sided icosahedral platonic solid die. Uh, find the probability of getting odd number on the first die and a multiple of four on the second die. Well, there are 20 uh, numbers, 20 faces on that die. Um, half of them are odd, half of them are even. The, not, the, the ones that are not multiples of two are every other number. And since there's an even number of numbers, it would be exactly one half, or uh, the probability of odd would be uh, 10 twentieths, aka one half. Probability of a multiple of four. Well, four is a multiple of four. Eight is a multiple of four. Sixteen and twenty. There are. Why do I feel like I four, eight, twelve, <laughs> four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty? It makes sense that there would be five multiples of four. Every fourth number out of twenty numbers, twenty divided by four is five. And so this simplifies to a half, and this simplifies to a four. And so the um, probability of getting odd, then rolling a multiple of four would be one eighth. Find the probability of getting heads, tails, tails, heads, tails, when flipping a coin five times. The probability of getting heads is half. The probability of getting tails is half. Probability of getting tails on the third flip is half. All of these probabilities are half. The product of these would be 1 over 2 to the fifth power, 32. Uh, it's noteworthy to realize that that's the same as the probability of flipping heads five times in a row or flipping tails five times in a row. The probability of getting any specific sequence of uh, flips is the same as, as getting heads five times in a row or tails five times in a row. There's really no distinction. So 132nd for that one.